What is up my friend, welcome back to another video. I am so pumped today, not only because we're gonna be talking about orchestral tools, Dagu, but I just worked out. It always feels nice when you can get up early and get that part of your day out of the way. That rhymed. Uh, and uh, yeah, it, it just feels nice to just get started and know like you, uh, you have your day ahead of you to work. Um, this is part of my job. It's one reason I enjoy it a lot. Um, and before we get started, I want to thank Orchestral Tools for sending me this library to look over with you guys. Um, I know that there are a lot of percussion libraries on the market today, and you know, every, every single one that comes out, they they talk about new features and like recorded at this stage, uh, you know, th this many round robins, et cetera, et cetera. Um, this library in particular is really unique because it is a Chinese inspired library with a bunch of drums, like a bunch of uh, big drums, small drums, deep drums, punchy drums, a whole bunch of stuff. So if you're in the market for specific theatrical Chinese drums, then I think this will fit the bill for you. We're going to go through a couple of the sounds and uh, we'll, we'll keep this relatively short. Um, and if you're looking for maybe a more all-encompassing library for percussion, um, I have, have videos on that as well. But specifically in this library, we'll talk about the Chinese drums. So if we just take a look, um, Dagu here, if you just go through and browse, take a look at what it comes with. We have the ensembles, we have single instruments, um, and then we have the process stuff, right? And then for that, you know, this is specifically for sound design. I personally don't use that much of sound design stuff, but, uh, it's always nice to have in case you do need it anyway. Uh, for, for the full ensemble, this is pretty much what it comes with out of the box. Uh, I want to show you the mixer view here. And you can see by default, we have the, this mix one loaded. So it's kind of like a combination of the mics, but uh, let's take a look at the performance and see what we got. So um, let's just have a little playthrough and then we'll talk about it. Now, one of the reasons I really enjoy the structure of this patch and orchestral tools libraries in general is that they don't really give you a huge amount of features per patch. Like they really give you the bare necessities here. So in, in this patch, you can really see that there are two basic hits, right? And this is always good for alternating playing if you're you know playing rear percussion parts in. Um, then the next thing on the D sharp, we have a double hit. So that's nice for like going into a moment. Think, think of like maybe double tonguing or something. I think that's, uh, that's you know, you can't really change the length of that. Um, then you have triple hit and then quadruple hit, right? And then you have the, the stick on the G and the A, which is always nice to play in combination with your single hit drums. Okay, and then here are the rolls. So it's controlled by mod wheel. Very cool. All right, the deep ensembles. So now we're going to the next category right here. Um, you can see the patch listing is, you know, not overwhelming at all. So yeah, single hits and rolls. This is typically what we get or percussion libraries anyway for single drums. So let's have a listen to Deep Ensemble.
you know, I think it'd be really cool if they would have rolls for the sticks as well. That could be super nice. I think Metropolis Arc 3 has some of that. I'm not entirely sure, but... So these first four patches of these ensembles, they all sound relatively similar. For me, I'm probably going to default to the full ensemble most of the time just because it has that full-bodied sound that I really like with a great amount of detail and the punch in there is really nice as well. So... Um, like some of these sound a little dry to me, maybe a slightly less punchy. Uh, so full ensemble seems to fit the bill for me nicely there. And then let's have a quick listen to the guns. <laughs> You can get pretty meaty with those rolls there. All right, Dragon Drum. This is pretty interesting. Let's have a listen. All right, we're moving on to the giant bass drum. Okay, let's have a listen to the single hits here. So that's really interesting. The SK Mix 2 seems to be even more reverberant and even more cinematic, if you will. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, it's interesting. Yeah, let's hear them combine together, actually. Let's see what kind of a difference that makes. Yeah, so if you're going for that really larger than light feel, I feel like that would do really nicely. Um, the SK Mix 2 combined with SK Mix 1, then you can always add your own reverb onto it. One of the benefits of this library, and it seems like all the sign libraries so far, um, is that the detail in these libraries is always there. There are no mic positions that really wash out the sound completely. And I, I, I really like this approach because you can always remove detail from the sound, but bringing in the detail um, takes some pretty careful EQ moves and all of that, but yeah, very interesting. Okay, moving on to the Hyper Punch Ensemble. This is very interesting.
Now, I love that sound. Like for me, the Hyper Punch Ensemble and the Full Ensemble are probably going to be the ones I go to, um, at least for my style of music. Um, yeah, I guess it really depends. But I guess the Soft and Full Ensemble, let's have a listen to that. See how that comes along. Quite nice. Let's go to the No Mercy Ensemble. I'm assuming this is pretty hard hitting as well. Okay, so that's pretty insane. Let's see what mix that was. So that was just the core mic. I think I guess there's only one mic position for these last few, which is pretty interesting. The booms have the sub, of course. Let's have a listen to that. Yeah, I really enjoy the ones near the top. I think my favorites are probably this B and then the last three here, the G, A, and B. Yeah, really nice. Some of them have more attack, some of them have more the decay and the release. So you have some variety in there to choose from. Awesome. All right, last couple. We're going to go with some drones and see what those sound like. Nice. Next one. Oh gosh. This is definitely like, for me, some sort of sci-fi thing. It's like looking at a, 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 a barren landscape and there's like, an enemy field in the background or something, like something's about to happen. Like, yeah, that's pretty interesting. <laughs> Finally, the Erdkern Schatten. All right. pretty interesting there's some filters going on there removing the low end when you turn the module down and on the way up it just introduces some new frequencies and um some like buzzing in there which is really cool okay so i uh yeah like i i'm pretty excited by this library i think the just the like the ensemble collection and some of the single hits are very effective for me personally for my style of music um i'm probably going to use the full ensemble the hyper punch ensemble for those moments of heavy hits and then if i want something that's just like absolutely insane then i'll probably go for the no mercy ensemble um these extra ones if i want a more detailed sound maybe something a little more intimate and close-knit then i'll probably go for one of those single instruments but generally um yeah it's it's a very useful library i think if you write music with chinese drums um for sure you get the basic drums, you get the double, triple, quadruple hits, and then you get the sticks as well. And um, yeah, it's it sounds great as usual. So 
just true to orchestral tools quality. Um, looking forward to see what they produce next. In fact, I think I have an idea, but uh, <laughs> um, I think it'll be out by the time I upload this video. So anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. And if you're interested in uh, kind of my other recommendations for sample libraries, I have a completely free guide going over my personal recommendations, strings, woodwinds, brass, percussion, piano, um, jazz libraries, ethnic libraries, you know, all those types of stuff. Um, all in one simple PDF. So it's in the description box below. If you just click the link, um, it'll take you to that and you can use it as you know a reference guide for your next purchase. I hope it really helps you. And I think um, it's something I wish I had when I first started out. So uh, let me know if that helps you. Uh, again, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video and take care. See you then. Bye-bye.